Welcome back to the Tennessee Titans franchise. Today we're going to be taking care of preseason uh, three games and one bye week. And then we will have the team for the next season, at least the team that we're going to be starting into the next season with. Uh, we're going to be facing the San Francisco 49ers. We're not going to be playing the games as you all well know. You can see the top right corner 75 out of 75. All right. I just really filled up the roster with uh, potential players from uh, from the free agents pool uh, players that could be interesting. Again, I'm just moving through this real quickly. You could pause at any time. Young players, older players, names that I found interesting. But yeah, I'm just moving through this. You can see that there's a lot of players in here that probably will be moving to the practice squad. Then there's a few interesting players in here that could stick around. Then there's a few players that I might switch positions for. Somebody like Harold Landry. Uh, I could use him, of course, over here on the left outside uh, linebacker position as a backup. Why ever not for this season? I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, just gaining some experienced players for the team. Uh, but I also just slapped in a few younger players that I found in the practice goods. Uh, somebody, you know, like, let me tie Fuku. Bad examples, all right? <laughs> Bad examples. I think on the cornerbacks room, um, there were some players that I just I just brought them in. I just saw them. They were young. And I was like, all right, let's, let's just slap him in here. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is we will be uh, moving through these weeks, um, but we will be taking care of uh, training camp. Just a few games. I'm just going to be moving through them, uh, showing you the progress, and then moving through the weeks up to bye week, cutting down the team, and then we're going to be prepared for the next season. So there we go. going to show you target passing now. This is basically a training exercise where uh, the players will start running. And I have to kind of hit them here, uh, break the target, and then hit the player. So there's that. And uh, we get uh, points for uh, breaking more targets, of course, obviously. Uh, so I will try to go like this and you know, try to break both of them. Uh, we did get the catch done. So there's that. Uh, and again, I will be trying to go over here and kind of line up the break here there we go fantastic job here um, I am doing this with Kramer I want to see uh, if I can't get uh, get a lot of points for him uh, just hit one here 2840 uh, not sure if we are already bronze I don't think so oh and that one is completely going past it oh damn it all right bronze earned so that's good and now we've got a gigantic target ahead of us uh, we have to kind of make sure to hit that. Jesus, man, not hitting the target here at all. But we get the catch bonus. So there's that. Uh, I will try and now get both again. This is basically the aim of this game. And I completely missed that one. Crud! Right, one remaining. Let's let's try and hit this one at least. I'm going to stay a little bit more like this. Crash. Oh, thank God. All right. Well, the silver would have been nice. But uh, we get the bronze medal, 6,400 more points. All right, so continue. We could try again, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, I like to take what I get at the first try, uh, just to not make this an optimization exercise. There we go, solid effort. More in you, 1,000 XP. There we go. Exercise, we're basically going to be trying to score here um, with, uh, the, uh, with the offense here. Um, we have a sack timer. We need to get the ball away in a, a few seconds uh, otherwise we will count as sacked the defense will be trying to defend this of course we can't choose the plays so there is that and uh, as you can see our defense is pretty good we're not moving ahead here all right we're not going to get anything out of this here uh, but then again we can't even uh, always pick those plays as i would probably like to but yeah, there we go. These are really strange routes. Let's go. Kablooey, Kyle Phillips. Oh, we're going to just try and move ahead here. At least get some points on the board. This is absolutely embarrassing at the moment. Uh, we're getting stuck here. Uh, there we go. Nice. Good. All right. 699 points. And now we have to kind of hit the target inside. There we go. Knocked out. All right. Doesn't count. Let's try and get another one here. I would never go for something like this play here. Um, but yeah, there we go. It works kind of. 909 points times two. There we go. And another one here. Kyle Phillips blocked. I don't like these plays. They are 
not exactly my forte or something that I, that I would go for. Uh, let's see, can we hit him here in between? Yeah, we kind of can complete it and he's absolutely mauled there. Um, here we go. Nice. Kyle Phillips, 1,056 points. We don't have a lot of time left, so uh, we have to try and get this one here done. Ooh, taken down completely. I clicked very, very quickly. I think we got the bronze on that one. You can't do the same exercise for uh, or the uh, exercise type for the same player more often. So that sucks a little bit. Would like to train up one player a lot. But yeah, there we go. In the first round, thinking he could be a big piece up front for years. He's a little raw, but we were hoping you could help him out. This is Aaron Brewer, number 55. Great minds, think alike coach. I've been wanting to work with him for the second, and I heard his name. Uh, from the second, I heard his name called you in the draft. What should we focus on? Pass blocking or run blocking? I think the run blocking is more important right now. One of the first things we talked about after we drafted him was improving his ability in the run game. So let's focus on improving that. All right. How will Aaron Brewer be able to help out? Focus on improving his power and ability to block on gap block plays or focus more on finesse blocking on zone. Let's go with the block power. I want pancakes and not the breakfast kind. Let's focus on power. Have him drinking, uh, driving defensive linemen back, throwing them out of the club. Sounds good. I spent some extra time with him. See what I can do to help his game. Nice. Will he get an immediate improvement? Let us see. Receive plus three run block power. Yeah, nice. There we go. Increasing run block improves the alignment ability to block on gap blocked running plays like power. Oh, good. Very good. I like that. Right, apart from that, uh, weekly strategy. Uh, we won last week's game against the 49ers and uh, then we're going to be moving to next week. It's always fun seeing a rookie play their first few games at the pro level. He's picking things up quick, but I think he still has room to grow. We're still talking about uh, Corey Lindsley. Keep working with him. Make sure he's ready for the regular season. We need him to be as good as he can be for when the games really matter. All right. Rookie okay, schooling. Nice. That is a really cool feature. I love that. Love those stories that just pop up in between. Uh, we lost against the Lions, by the way, and this week we're going to be playing the, against the Eagles. Going to be doing weekly strategy and then moving to next season, the bye week, where we will be cutting players. And uh, this will give the team its final shape. I've continued to work with Jack Lindsley and help him with this game. He's coming along nicely for a rookie. All right, he does have the hidden death trait, so pretty interested to see how that will turn out. Happy to hear it. Really appreciate the time you've taken to help the kid out. Not every team has guys like you willing to help out the younger players. Yeah, very nice. We've got a great team spirit. Jack Lindsley has received 2,500 XP. Well, that is a very, a very good. All right, so first scenario of the bye week has been completed. We're still getting offers for Henry to Ottawa. I'm not willing to give him away. And uh, now we will have to cut 22 players. Um, I never do this in uh, in this screen here. It just doesn't make any sense, in my opinion. I, I, I need to be able to compare the players. So I will be doing the cleanup together with you guys after we have upgraded the players. I'm just going to be doing the quick upgrade as, uh, uh, yeah, as I just displayed. And uh, now we will be moving into the team view and then we will be cutting players straight from there. All right, so starting off with the quarterback room, I like what this here looks like. Yeah, we've got Malik Willis, we've got Mike Kramer. I'm thinking about maybe putting Will Levels on the in, uh, injured reserve again, um, just to create space maybe for another uh, quarterback. Here we've got Ty J Spears uh, as the starter, Chris McAdams, we've got JD Bradley. And something that has really made my uh, brain cells churning a little bit is Oscar Bennett, all right? I mean, JD Bradley's looking fantastic. But he's just three uh, points higher than Oscar Bennett, who is a year younger. So make of that what you will. I would be putting Walter Griffin onto the practice squad. Um, and I would be putting Oscar Bennett on the practice squad as well. So move to practice squad. Yes, fantastic. I've got my three running backs. Fullback Josh Wiley. 
He's slipping into that role again. The wide receivers, this is going to be a head scratcher now. Traylon Burks, of course. Am I Rogers? Yes. Kyle Phillips, yes. Steven Marino, hell yeah. Caleb Palmer, I like this one. Antoine Wills, Colton Dowell, and Clyde Davis. To be honest, I don't think that Clyde Davis has a shot at being a part of this team. So I will be releasing him. Um, no harm done, no foul. Um, I'd love to keep Colton Dowell around, but I just really am having problems justifying this one here. There's not a lot I can do with him. I can cut him, um, but I really liked what he did in the team. I really liked what he was doing. So I think I'm going to trade him to a team that maybe needs a wide receiver. We're just going to keep this one in mind. Uh, in terms of the tight ends, uh, these three here work fine. Dell Jenkins going to be putting him on the practice squad we're going to be putting players on the practice squad until we run out of space and then have to do something creative maybe all right joe alt we've got patrick paul we've got russ randolph we've got eddie carruthers and then we've got mike gray this is a rookie that i picked up but of course eddie carruthers is the better of the two um he is not a scheme fit though so that might be an issue uh, let's just put Mike Gray there as well. Again, I always like having uh, players on the practice squad that I can utilize in more than one way. Uh, Patrick Paul or Russ Randolph, both are looking pretty good. Um, I feel uh, like maybe Patrick Paul is the one to stick around with. On the other hand, Russell Randolph. Yeah, I'm going to have to think about this one uh, at left guard. All right, we've got Nitani Muti, who I don't really need anymore now, as much as I like him. But we have Jack Lindsley here, who I really want to give game time to, and he's already almost as good as Nitani Muti. Um, also, Don Kincaid, I don't really need a 22-year-old player if I've got somebody like Lindsley on the squad. So there's that. Um, let's take a look at center. All right, all right. I brought in Acosta. This is a rookie. We're going to be putting him on the practice squad for the time being. Right guard. Have we got a solution for right guard? Actually, we don't. But I think that the solution now it is basically between Chandler Zavala and Natani Muti, who I want to keep. And I think Natani Muti just wins that battle. I'm going to be putting Natani Muti over onto the right guard position. I think that is his uh, natural position, if I'm not completely mistaken. Um, I really like him, plus that 97 strength rating just is too good to give up. Um, Don Kincaid, I will be cutting him. Don't really see uh, the need to keep him around. Um, there we go. Next up at center, we've got two players at right guard. We now have five players, and I will now be putting Chandler Savala. We will be releasing him, <clears throat> even if we might get a penalty, which we don't. That is nice. Um, Thomas Friedman, this is a rookie that I drafted, but Eric Lynch is also a rookie and he actually looks a little bit better. So I will be putting him on the practice squad. I will be putting Thomas Friedman uh, away. That sounds brutal, but I will be cutting him. There we go. Uh, on right tackle, we are looking pretty nice. Tyrell Bullet is a fantastic looking dude. 22 and 71. I think he is certainly going to go to the practice squad learn some stuff there but for the time being the offensive line is looking very very nice all right these two gonna have to think about this plus the wide receiver maybe i can get a package deal something like that on left edge james houston and neil wilcox that works perfectly right edge now here's some uh, <laughs> some work to be done and to me what adam worry i don't think that i'll keep him around on the other hand i could keep him as the backup player here for adisa isaac that actually could work quite well. Steven Dalton, that's my highest rated rookie. I would put him on the practice squad just to uh, get him to yeah, just to stay in trading, improve a little bit more. Andrew Wright, this dude is going to be cut. I don't see this one here having any benefit. James Knight, it's the same thing. I think I have to cut him even if I get a penalty. Uh, but yeah, this is just... Uh, not really a player that I really see having a future with us. On D-Tackle, we've got Jordan Hall and uh, we've got Jarvis Ford. We've got Damian Bushrod and James Choice, who I will be putting onto the practice squad. Good. All right, this looks good. Next up, left outside linebacker, Glenn Sprinkle and Brandon Hartwell. Okay. 
We do have the Red Hat linebacker group pretty well filled. We do have Jill Peoples in here and uh, Justin Patton, that's one of our own. And it's Harold Landry, I'm going to be moving him over to the uh, left outside linebacker position. I feel like he can add there as a backup player. That certainly is a good, also a nice storyline that he kind of returns to his former club, right? Uh, Brandon Hartwell, uh, I think that uh, we will be moving him to the practice squad, just uh, like that. That is the left outside linebacker position handled. I like the mid linebacker group a lot now. We kind of, kind of shaved some years off of that, right? We've got Kenneth Murray Jr who's now the best one. Then we've got Assis al Shayer, Henry Tuoto, who might start growing uh, into being my number two midline backer here. And Jalen Wilcox can grow in peace behind all of these dudes. Uh, the right is the linebacker group, Jill Peoples, then Justin Patton, and then Marquise DeVoe, who we will be slapping onto the practice squad. Cornerbacks, let's take a look here. McCreary, Fulton, Farley, Fletcher, Joseph, and Daniel Gallery. This, of course, is a rookie. Let's move him to the practice squad. Ooh, practice squad seems to be full. All right, we need to clean up the practice squad. This is always fun times. All right, who do we need? Who don't we need? Uh, to be honest, I feel like one of these two running backs is a little bit surplus. I'm going to be going through this by position. All right. Eddie Carruthers, 22, 65, uh, 68, and Mike Gray, 22 and 65. One is a rookie, one isn't. <clears throat> and I think I'd like to keep the rookie around too. He also seems to have a slightly higher strength rating. So let's release Carruthers here. Who of these two do we keep? Oscar Bennett or Walter Griffin? I think Walter Griffin should stay. I think Oscar Bennett might be... Um, just a, a little bit older and uh, uh, he's 23.76 this is 21.74 so more growth potential right here apart from that do we have any double teamed positions all right not right now okay I think we can return to the cornerback room I think this was the place where we kind of stepped out of here Daniel Gallery, here we go. Boom, off to the practice squad you go. Free safeties are settled, strong safeties. All right, let's let's uh, let's have a thinker here. Uh, JL Skinner, Ty Walker, and DeMarco Foote. So basically, when I look at this, I would say Ty Walker certainly is a player that I'd like to hold on to. 23 and 73 is really not far off. I think next year he might be able to contend, uh, contend, contend for that uh, second spot right there. So we're going to move him to the practice squad. Do we still have some room for DeMarco Foote now? Or is he too much? Nah, he's too much. I think I will have to cut him. Uh, sorry, my man. I never like cutting rookies, though. I like to give them a year on the practice squad at least. But as it stands, this is uh, this is currently it. Let me see if we have cut down the team enough or if we still have to cut. Yeah, we need to cut some more. All right. Uh, new idea. I will now be uh, creating a bundle deal for a few players that I just feel like I would like to see somewhere else. I, I don't want to cut them. Uh, and, and be brutal about this. So Colton Dowell, we're going to trade him away to a team that needs a wide receiver. Is there a team out there? Yes, actually there is. The Broncos need wide receivers. Um, I will also be packaging in another player, a uh, left tackle this time around, looking at Patrick Paul or Russ Randolph. And between those two, I feel like I should go for Russ Randolph um, he's just a little bit younger. On the other hand, Patrick Paul, me 25. This is this is really no contest. He's just a little bit bigger. Um, he has proven his worth already. And I'm going to be packaging Russ Randolph along for the ride as well. Let's just get this one done. Otherwise, I'm going to change my mind three times over. Um, on the other hand, I don't need to package along uh, Randolph. It's just, it's just Colton Dowell. All right, so Colton Dowell. Let's see. All I want to have is a draft pick. I just want to move you to a team that appreciates you. Um, I don't think that will get anything in the term uh, of a yellow like. So, you know, if I click through this in the bottom, uh, in the top left uh, next to his name, 
if it flashes yellow there is slight interest if it flashes green there is huge interest and that is not really happening here so uh, we are moving through this here off to the broncos again because they are uh, needing a wide receiver and i will be going for a 20 30 around seven pick i don't really care too much what i get in trade value i just want to get a new team for colton dowell where he can hopefully play some football and enjoy that all righty with that done next stop is gonna be the uh, beginning of uh, well basically week one there is one final checkup uh, in the free agents pool that i will be doing maybe some final adjustments but for the most part the team stands right now here we are guys we have arrived at week one of the regular season season five and this is where the next episode will be starting uh, for now i will be just taking a quick look at what the team looks like right now deep dive will be happening next week i have cleaned up the, the roster i have cut a lot of players i have adjusted the practice uh, squad i have adjusted the depth chart and now everything uh, makes sense in my opinion um, we have uh, the rookies implemented in here will levis will return in two weeks time that is fantastic it's not a lot of time to wait for him anymore um and uh yeah on defense same thing i have adjusted the team uh, in a way I think makes sense um, we will be going over that next week though uh, for now this is just a little bit of a preview here uh, we've got the special teams set we've got the specialists sorted and we've got the practice squad filled to the brim with players who I hope will be helpful in the future I will be revisiting this from time to time just to take a look here and as we have seen last season practice squad players can quickly become first team players as well so for now, the preseason episode is coming to an end. I'm going to say thank you so much for joining and thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope you like this style. Do let me know what you think of the signings. Let me know what you think of the trades. Do you agree? Uh, should I have make it, uh, make it? Should I have done things differently? And as always, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.